Hi, I'm Ginger Lee with On the Rogue. We are in Corsicana, Texas at the Palace Theater with the amazing Ruthie Foster for On the Rogue, brought to you by Songwriters Across Texas. Hi, Miss Ruthie. Hey, honey, how you doing, Ginger? I am good. <laughs> I'm happy to be with you. I'm happy you guys were able to come and be on the road with us. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> be on the road. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a rogue anyway, you know. Yeah, we do know this. Yes, you know that. Mm -hmm. Ruthie, I mean, our our lives, our friendship, uh, it's yeah. like we just sort of pop into each other's lives randomly and and yeah. see each other in, in random places and times, and uh -huh. it's, it's a, always a great honor. So, Same here, honey. Thank you. I don't you. get a chance to see you as much as I, I used to, though. You're always doing new stuff. Well, we're doing this, and this is awesome. This is great. To have you on the Rogue. Um, <laughs> so talk to me about uh, this tour that you're on. Yeah, well, this is a, my Texas tour. We're doing the Corsicana, Marshall, and then a swoop over to Lake Charles, and then back. But I just got off of a three-week in the Northeast, and, and the Midwest, and yeah. So I came back to Texas for a day and then went back out on the road. Yeah. That was uh, interesting. You came back to Texas for a day just to get some allergies and go back. Just in time. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. So are most of the shows you're doing, are they in venues? Or are they in theaters like this? It's kind of mixed. Uh -huh. And it's nice when we get a chance to actually do a theater because we get to spread out. I get a chance to bring most of my band with me. Yeah. I just get loud and just have fun. Uh, I, there's nothing like a captive audience like that. Yeah, yeah, it is, and uh, it's nice to have really nice dressing rooms too. Yeah, you, you know? get all the bells and whistles, the amenities. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all of it. Okay, so so on this tour, are you performing a mix of your songs? Are you covering songs? Are you are you doing mostly from your new album? Yes, yes, and yes. All of it. I really, yeah, I like mix, mixing all of it, and and especially this this particular album. I'm really proud of. I'm proud of all of them. But this be. one I'm really proud of because I got a chance to write with my band. You know, we, we actually, from, from conception of this album to uh, recording and now performing together, I, you know, I couldn't ask for anything better when That's it comes awesome. to healing time. Yeah. Healing time. So it came out in yeah. 2022. Can you tell me, please, what healing time, is that relevant to having come out of a really tough couple of years, mm -hmm. I assume, or Very. Am, I, am I on? Yeah, you're okay. on. In fact, the title song to this album, Healing Time, was pretty much all of the tracks, no, all of the tracks were done in our home studios. Really? That's what you're listening to on the album. It sounds fantastic. The production's amazing. I, I don't, you know, that, hey, <laughs> I still remember singing in the closet, trying to get the vocal for that. Um, but thank you. Yeah, we, you know, we're all, we all have our home studios and we're all pretty, uh, we're pretty hip to how well, to make, you know, great you, tracks. You studied audio engineering at I some did. point in your life, right? I did. Yeah. That came in handy once in a while. It does. And, and you studied audio engineering and? Vocal performance. Vocal performance. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. And uh, a little bit of piano too. I was in a, you know, I was a piano player in the Navy and the yeah. vocalist. Yeah. I was going to ask you about that. So you you were in the Navy and you were in the, the Navy, Navy band. Navy band, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was stationed in uh, Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina. Nice. And uh, that was real nice. Got a chance to tour most of the East Coast and did about three Mardi Gras and. Uh, Gosh, just, just wherever the Admiral went, that's where we went. We were the his band. Awesome. Yeah. Well, now you're doing your own thing, and yeah. you've been doing it for a while. You have, you've been nominated for what three, three times for a Grammy? Four times. Four yeah. times for During a Grammy. During the pandemic, I got nominated for my last one. Yeah. See, you're the gonna win. Album. You're gonna win. You're gonna win. <laughs> I guarantee it. But just being nominated is an honor, right? It's huge because you know these these folks get a, a, a huge amount of uh, entries. So just to get recognized and get pulled out of that, that's a huge thing. Well, you deserve it. Like all, all you. of your albums, all of your music, you know, you know, my mom and I listen to it all the time on the beach <laughs> and we send you silly videos. I love your videos. Yeah. <laughs> um, all of your music is always so good. It's so rich. Um, this new album has, a, I, I could sense there's a little bit of, um, uh, there's some little bit of politics maybe in there mm -hmm. and uh, just talking yeah. about what we had gone through in 2020 and 2021. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And then and then there's just these these there's this beautiful uh, gospel number. Yeah, there's gospel. There's Scotty Scotty Miller, my keyboard player, we wrote together. Yeah. Everybody. It's called I was called. I was called. Yeah. Yeah, we actually wrote that one for the Blind Boys of Alabama. Okay. They've recorded it, and uh, and we thought, well, you know, we wrote it. Why not? Why, why don't we record it too? Yeah. Why not? So yeah, that's it's what you're hearing on there. Gorgeous, and I cannot believe this is all home studio stuff. I mean, it's it, a lot of it. Yeah. A lot of it is. I was as I've been listening to that album, I'm just like, oh, that's a great production call right there, and mm -hmm. you know, we're you know, we're, your voice might pan over here, and you know, just all the things, and and your guitar player. <laughs> okay, who's playing that slide solo? Oh, the slide solo in <laughs> Healing Time yep. is Robert Randolph. Robert Randolph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sent him a, you know, an email and asking, can you please play on this? So he sent a track back from his home studio. Okay. Yeah, he flew it in. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing what technology can do, right? Yeah, but we've got Sonny Landreth is on this album okay. too. So yeah. a, a lot of great, great artists. Sonny Landreth. Wow. Yeah. So. That's all super cool. Now, talk to me about on this album. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a song in particular that is like emotionally your baby? Like this is this is the one that's like, oh, <laughs> there's always one. There's always one. I know there yeah. is. Yeah, I would say 4 a.m. I knew it. I was yeah. going to call it. I was going to say 4 a.m. That's gorgeous. Thank you. It's a beautiful ballad. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. do you want to? Talk well, about what it's about? No, it's it's something that came to me at 4 a.m. in okay. uh, Eastern Europe. I was in this little place called Riga, Latvia. Okay. And I had just come in really late one night, and all of the uh, businessmen, the, the business, the Latvian businessmen and Russians, they were all partying in the in the in the lobby of the hotel, and and uh, so I went and got my my complimentary vodka and went upstairs and just sat and just played all night long. And that song just came. Um, and I had Scotty to actually uh, help me. I keep looking back behind me. because His keyboards are the, here. Yeah, I'm staring at his uh, <laughs> B3 over here. Uh, and Scotty helped me close it because I, I had started it and I just didn't know how to end it, you know, because it was one of those songs that went like anything that happens in the middle of the night and just, it just sounds good and it feels good. And I just wanted to play it forever, but Scotty was like, oh, yeah, that's great, but how does it end? <laughs> we need to end the song. So he helped me do that. Yeah, I'm yeah. really close to that one. Yeah. yeah. And it says a lot about being a musician on the road. Yeah. On I the rogue. Yeah. On the rogue. Yeah, you know. We're in, La in Rigo, Latvia. Latvia. In Latvia, yeah. right? Who knew? Exactly. So in Latvia, of course, Yeah. you know, what a, what a cool story. And it's a beautiful Thanks. song. And I, I really hope that yeah, more and more and more people catch wind of, of your gorgeous music. You've had an incredible career. How many albums do you have out? I think it's 10 now. 10. Yeah, I'm still working on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's 10 more in you. I certainly hope so. That's, that's, the, that's the plan. That is the plan. Well, you yeah. make a lot of people happy with that plan. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, You're, you've got this, this luscious voice that's rich and genuine and um, Gosh, I mean, you've got you've got blues in there, but you, it's R and B and it's soul and it's you know yeah. the gospel obviously is in there and it's it can't just, help that you can't help that I just take that with me wherever I go. Might yeah. as well just walk around with a fan. Yeah, a man fan. You want to borrow my hat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, lastly, you know that my middle name is Foster. I did not know that. Yep, you've been holding that one from me. I have. Well, my grandmother's main name was Foster, so I think we're cousins. Oh, we cousins. We're girl. cousins, girl. Hey, hey. hey cuz. That's now right. You know, I know how to greet you now. Hey, cuz. Hey, cuz. All right. Well, we look forward to your show okay. here at the Palace Theater in Corsicana. It's a great spot. Yeah, throw away to East Texas, baby. Yeah. We're here. Well, you're from East Texas, aren't you? Yeah, I was born in uh, Mineola, Wood County. Okay. And my dad is in Tyler, Winona okay. area right now. He huh. might come tonight. I don't know. Well, I hope he's he down the road. I'd love to meet him. What well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see him. <laughs> I'll walk up to him and say, "Hey, cuz." <laughs> He'll be like, "Who are you?" He'd get a huge kick out of that. <laughs> Because <laughs> he thinks he's kin to everybody. Well, maybe we are kin. I think we are. You never know. We're Kendrick. definitely kin in the heart and yeah. with music. And uh, Ruthie, I love you. And I'm looking forward to the show. Thank I love you your much. music. You deserve all the successes, all the nominations, all the many awards you've received mm -hmm. in your career. And uh, here's to many more. 
Cheers to that. Yes. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm Ginger Lee with On the Rogue, brought to you by songwriters across Texas with the fabulous Miss Ruthie Foster, my cousin, and Corsicana <laughs> at the Palace Theater. Have a great show tonight. Thank you.